if you would have told me growing up that you will one day own a Dodge Challenger, Ford Mustang, and Chevy Camaro, I, I would say sign me up. Uh, guys, I'm blessed. I'm lucky. I'm fortunate. I love doing this YouTube thing. Thank you guys for all the support. The channel just keeps blowing up. Really appreciate all you guys and viewing this content. I promise to be transparent and honest with you guys, and that continues today. Let me share with you everything that I paid for and what it cost to buy my new Camaro. Enjoy. On guys it is Austin with Gone in 60. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything, everything I paid for my 2021 Camaro 2SS 1LE. I'm going to share my trade-in, I'm going to share shipping costs, I'm going to share negotiations, I'm going to share my payments. I'm sharing it all guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let's jump right into it. And one thing to note guys, I think the industry is changing. Uh, I don't really feel bad for car dealerships this year or car manufacturers because they're selling these cars for record profits. They don't have the inventory, but they're selling them for record profits. So I think after this whole chip shortage and everything ends, I think dealerships are gonna intentionally keep uh, inventory low and keep prices high. So that's just a prediction. So let's just jump into what I paid for the car so you guys can get an idea of if I got ripped off or if I did okay. <laughs> All right guys, so here's the window sticker for my Chevy Camaro 2SS 1LE. I'm not gonna read everything on here for you guys, but I just will share the options and what everything costs. So the standard vehicle price is $42,000, uh, just over. And here is the 1LE package, it's $7,000. And you can see all of the goodies that comes with this. So definitely a lot of things that is included with this. Uh, I love the Magna Ride. Uh, the active valve exhaust, uh, there's just so many different things, the wheels, there's so many different things within the package that just make it awesome. So some of the add-ons that we have, and I've shared this with you guys in a, in a previous video, but we do have the performance data and video recorder. That was a $1,300 option. So you essentially can record yourself when you're at the track driving around. It'll show you the RPMs, it'll show you the speed, it'll show everything in there. Uh, we do have the navigation. I wish that's something that I didn't have, $495. Uh, and then we also have the black wheel lug nuts, which actually I like. I think they look really good on there. Probably more expensive than what you can get for them on your own, but they did send me some extras, so I, I can't complain about that. And honestly, they make these wheels look really good. Uh, the red seat belts, that was something that I definitely wanted, $195. So you can see there, the total options for the car is $9,305. Uh, total vehicle options, $51,805. Uh, after the destination charge, the total vehicle price is $53,000. Now, one thing you guys will know on here is there's no gas guzzler tax, and that's because Chevy has found a workaround in these cars, especially the manuals. They have uh, the ability to block you out of second gear, so you have to shift from first to fourth if you're chugging along. So based on how they were able to make this work out with the EPA and everybody, you don't have to pay the gas guzzler tax, which is great because it saved you about $1,300. I'll talk a little bit more about that and exactly what it's doing in a later video all right so one thing to note as part of me buying this car is i had my 2020 ford mustang bullet that i traded in to the dealership i tried selling the car privately uh, i tried for about three months i got no offers on it i had it listed around 48 49 000, uh, which was definitely high for the market however it also wasn't at the same time given how a lot of other cars similarly spec we're going for that or more and so I tried selling it on my own, uh, but you know, I just bought that car in February and I paid close to four grand in sales tax. So part of the advantage for me, a part of this deal uh, was being able to trade in my bullet Mustang because it would help me save on sales tax. So basically they would take whatever value they give me for a trade in, 
um, subtract that from my purchase price of the car and I'd only have to pay sales tax on that because paying four grand, then another four grand in sales tax, it just didn't make sense. So let me jump into the exact specifics of the negotiation of the deal. And so you guys can just get an idea of everything that I paid for it. So I'm just gonna read this here for you guys. Uh, I'll throw a screenshot up on the screen so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. But like I mentioned, the car came in at 53,000. Now, when I initially negotiated with the dealership, they had $900 in dealer added accessories or fees on the car. And what that included was a lifetime tint package for $300 and a five-year hazardous protection package for $600, which basically puts nitrogen in your tires and a whole bunch of other BS that I didn't want to pay for. So I originally told these guys, unless you remove it, I'm not buying the car. Uh, they said, okay, um, and turned me away and then quickly came back and changed their minds. So I guess if you want to talk about negotiation, I did get $900 off of the price of the car. But in my opinion, I got $900 off of something that they shouldn't have charged anyways. But that is something that a lot of dealerships are doing. Make sure when you guys are negotiating, ask them what their dealer added fees are. They try and add these little packages, GPS tracking stuff, door seal, just so many different things, guys. Just make sure you're not paying for it because honestly, it's a ripoff and I, I can't stand it. So uh, typically, the car should have been around $54,000. Uh, but the list price was 53. Okay, so they gave me $45,000 for my Mustang for a trade-in. I owed just under 39,000, like 38 and some change. Uh, so, you know, about seven grand there that I'll be getting back on my car. So uh, the difference between my trade-in and the car was $8,000. Because there was an $8,000 difference, you know, here in Utah, the sales tax is over 7%. So I had to pay $610 in sales tax, uh, dealer inventory tax, $110, government license registration fee, $72, uh, government certificate of title fee, $33, government vehicle inspection fee, $1,450. Their dock fee was $150, which I'm good with that. That's a good dock fee. Uh, so the subtotal was $8,880. Uh, balance owed on trade in 38965 I did have a thousand dollar deposit so that put the car um, at 46845 so and some change so uh, that's what the car was was 46000 now something else is part of this so obviously you know they were saying hey we're gonna take you know we're gonna give you that trade-in value but I wanted the seven or eight grand back um, I didn't want to put it all towards the car so what I ended up doing so the car was 53,000 obviously with my trade-in and everything it got me down to like 46 uh, which is good that's including sales tax and everything so I don't feel like I'm in a great position on the car but I don't feel like I'm in a bad position but something as part of this equation and part of this deal is I had to pay to have my car shipped to the dealership so I'll make a future video on that. I used uh, Sherpa Auto. Uh, it was on an open trailer to ship my Mustang uh, to Texas. It was $975 to ship my Camaro back um, from Texas on an enclosed trailer, uh, which I just wanted that protection. Uh, it was $1,200. So I had $2,100 um, basically in shipping costs. And I have tried to negotiate for the dealers to pay to have your cars shipped I haven't found one that'll do it. A lot of them will drive the car to wherever you live. However, I don't want someone driving in the car when the car needs to be broken. You don't know how they're gonna drive. If it were me, I would probably drive those cars pretty fun, pretty fast. So I just don't, I just don't trust it. And so I wanted to have those cars shipped. So, you know, in the grand scheme of it, I did take, you know, two grand um, factored into the loan. So I'll jump into next how much I borrowed, what my payments are and everything on the car. And one other thing uh, is I'm looking at my loan details. I also, uh, and you guys will see this in an upcoming video. I had the car paint corrected. I had to pull some dents out of the car. Uh, not gonna talk about that. And I had some paint protection film installed. So I also added that part of the loan. Probably not smart, but I still felt like I was in a good position. So I ended up borrowing $49,000 actually 49,500. Um, I did it for seven years. You guys can roast me on it. That's fine. I like keeping my car payments low. I have a good credit score. My credit score is just under 800. So I got a 2.99% interest rate on a seven year loan, which is really, really good. Uh, it's really hard uh, to beat that. So my payment is 655 a month. And part of that 
my YouTube channel's helping pay for, and then that helped offset the cost. So in the grand scheme of it, um, I don't regret this decision. The car was 53,000. If I would have had to pay for this out of pocket, uh, I would have been 57, 58,000 dollars into the car uh, because of sales tax. I, I can afford the payments, I can pay extra on it. Uh, so that's essentially what we paid for the car, guys. Those are all the details of it. So guys, let me know, how do you think I did? You know, I, I really, you know, I got a little bit off of the car. You know, I saved on sales tax, but ultimately I got the car that I wanted. I wanted out of my bullet Mustang. Uh, they they gave me so they gave me forty five thousand for the car. They had it listed at fifty three thousand and change on their website, which that is actually a touch more I think than what the MSRP on that car was brand new. They've since lowered it to fifty one thousand. They haven't been able to sell it, and I don't have anything super great to say about that dealership. So best of luck to them. Uh, however, I wanted this car, guys. I love this car. I'm excited about it. I have so many awesome videos coming for you guys. But yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Let me know how I did in the comments below. We'll catch you on the next video.